Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we are going to design the front page of our website. In the previous video, I have shown you how to fetch the posts and projects into your web page. But in this video, we will use this knowledge and create our complete front page. So if you go over to the website, this is the website that we had designed earlier in the course. So this is completely designed using HTML and CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. So now we are going to make our uh, WordPress website, this page over here, exactly the same as this. So we have a lot to do. So let's get started. So I'll go to the source file of this uh, project over here. So this is the HTML and the CSS that we have. So first of all, I'm going to copy some of the images from this IMG folder. So we want the logo, the search icon and uh, one of these images for uh, for this header image over here. And we'll just copy them from here and we'll paste it in our uh, WordPress project. And uh, we'll create a new folder and we'll name it IMG. And in that we'll paste these three images. Now we'll go back to our website. By default in WordPress, the index.php page is the one which gets loaded when you go to the root of the website. But uh, what we want to have is a separate page called front page. That is because we want to make some customizations to our page like we want to add this uh, background image over here. We want to have two blogs displayed and two projects displayed at the same time. And we also and we also have this separate section over here. So we need to create a separate page in our uh, WordPress website. So we'll go to our dashboard and we'll create two different pages, one for uh, the front page and the other for the blog index page. So we'll go to pages and uh, we'll just remove these pages. And uh, we'll create a new page called home and we're not going to have any content over here. We'll do all that in our PHP file. So we'll just publish this and we'll create one more page called uh, blog and we'll publish it. So now we have two pages home and blog. Now what you have to do is go to settings and uh, click on reading and uh, instead of displaying your latest posts you have to click on a static page so we'll click on this static page and for the home page we'll select the page that we created called home and for the post page we'll select the blog page so that's all for the settings we'll just save these settings Okay, now what happens is that WordPress will check for a file called frontpage.php and if it finds that file, it will display that file as the home page. So if we so if we refresh our page right now, we are going to get page.php over here. That's because our front page is being triggered and we don't have any front page right now. So we'll just go to our Visual Studio and uh, here we'll create a new file and we'll name it frontpage.php php and we'll just type something over here hi from front page and we'll save it and we'll see whether it is working and here we can see that hi from front page is displayed over here so we know that front page is displayed as the main page of our website now we'll just copy all the css we have from our design so we'll go to our uh, design that we had created using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So we'll just open this with a different text editor. And these are the styles that we had created uh, when we were designing this web page. So we'll just copy everything from here and we'll paste it in our uh, style.css file in our WordPress project. So below our uh, information over here, we'll just copy all the styles and we'll save it 
and then we will also copy our JavaScript so open this with the sublime text and we'll just copy everything and go to Visual Studio Code and uh, open our JS file and we'll just copy it and save this now what we'll do is uh, we'll go to our uh, design and we'll copy the code from index.html to our uh, front page so I'll just copy everything and we'll go to the front page and uh, we'll paste this over here and we'll save this we we'll just check out our website and see how it looks right now so here we can see that we have our index.html copied over here but we don't have the styles applied and we also don't have the images so we'll just fix that right now so what we'll do is copy everything from right here so we'll copy everything from above the banner and uh, then we'll cut this and we'll paste it in our header.php and we'll do the same with our footer so we just copy this from here to here and uh, we'll just cut it and uh, we'll paste it in our footer.php file I have already shown you how to add footer and uh, header to your WordPress website so I will just remove this from here and uh, I will add this code over here that is WP footer so this is gonna bring my script file over here and uh, for our header we are gonna remove all these things from here to here and we are gonna replace it with a WordPress function called WP head I have already shown how to do this in my previous videos so if you haven't watched it please watch it and uh, now we'll go to our front page and here we have to import our footer and our header into the front page so we'll write get footer over here and uh, here we will type get header and we'll save this and let's see how our website is looking right now so here we can see that we have our CSS applied over here now first of all we'll fix uh, this logo over here so we'll go to our VS code and we'll go to the header.php file and we'll search for where the image is being loaded so here we can see that we are loading the image from img logo.png so here we have to give the path of the root of our website so here we'll go into php mode and here we will type echo get template directory uri so using this function you can get the root of your wordpress website so now it should work so we'll go to our website and we'll refresh it here we can see that our logo is working now we'll also fix our links over here so here we will go back into the php mode and here we will type echo site url this will give me the root url of my website so I will just copy this and uh, over here we will type slash blog and here we will type slash projects and here slash about and uh, here we will have the root URL here we will type slash blog here we will have slash projects and at last we will have the about link so that's it for our header.php now we'll go to our frontpage.php and uh, we'll start 
coding this page up so for our link over here we we'll just paste it and uh, we will type slash blog and uh, now inside our section we will create a while loop we had done this in our previous video where we created a while loop and we fetched all our posts and projects so we'll do the exact same thing over here so we want to have some custom queries so we'll first of all create an array we'll type post type and it should be post posts per page and there should be two posts per page and then we'll create a new variable and we'll name it blog posts and we'll create it as a new WP query object and we'll pass in the arguments and now we'll create the while loop we'll just put a semicolon over here and in our while loop we will access the have post method inside our blog post object and uh, here we will type blog posts the post now inside our while loop we will have this card and uh, we'll just make some changes over here we had done this in our previous video so for our link we will type a method called the permalink and for our image source and we'll type echo get the post thumbnail URL and uh, for the ID we will say get the ID and for our link over here we will type the permalink okay now for the title we will have a WordPress function the title and uh, for the content over here we'll type the excerpt but we want to have a consistent size of our uh, card so we need to limit all the excerpt to just 30 characters so we have a function in uh, WordPress called WP trim words so we can pass this excerpt into our function so we have to have a different function over here so we have to have a function called get the excerpt so now this excerpt will be passed to this function and uh, then we have to set the number of characters we want it to be limited so that's it for our excerpt and at last over here we want to have the link so just type php the permalink so that's basically it for our uh, blog section so we just delete the second one over here and uh, before our section ends we will reset our query because it's a good practice to reset our query if you have used a custom query so that we don't have any problems down in our file so we'll type wp reset query we will add this inside a php so that's basically it for our blog section so we'll just go to our uh, website and see whether it is working and uh, we can see that we have the title and uh, the excerpt displayed but we only have one post over here we are supposed to have two posts over here and uh, we also don't have the image displayed over here so we we'll just go to our vs code and check what is the problem so here we have closed our bracket right here we have to close it down here so that was the problem 
now we will see why the image is not being displayed so here we can see that we have called the get the id method but we haven't written parentheses over here so that was the problem so we'll just save this and we'll check whether it is working now here we can see that our posts are being displayed and uh, so that's basically it with our blog posts now we'll work with our projects now for our projects we are gonna basically have uh, almost the same code so we just copy this from here to here and we'll paste it in place of these two projects now we have to make some changes over here so here we will change the name of this variable to projects and we will do the same thing over here and uh, in place of post we will type project so this is the post type that we want now and all these things are basically the same so i think that's basically it for our projects we'll just save it and uh, we'll see whether it's working so if you go down over here we can see that we have the two projects displayed over here and this section is static and we don't have to do anything so everything is working fine we have the projects being displayed we also have the latest blog post displayed we have the images and logo and everything is working fine so basically we have everything working in our front page so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day